what you are looking at is a symbol called the Tree of Life. This is a very old symbol. It is seen in many of the world's mythologies and religions and philosophical traditions, and it's closely related to the concept of a sacred tree. It's still a symbol we see a lot today. It's shown with branches reaching into the sky in some religions that would symbolize heaven and also roots reaching into the earth, grounding us to the earth. It would symbolize a connection to the earth or to the underworld. In Christianity and Islam, it would symbolize the tree of knowledge from the Bible and the Quran. In Buddhism, it is seen as the tree under which Buddha sat when he attained enlightenment. In Chinese mythology, it is seen as a phoenix or dragon, reborn and stretching out towards the sky. In North America, in the Lakota, it is seen as a connection between the spirit world and the earth. It can be a symbol of personal growth, strength, and beauty. You may have heard of it when we talked about the artist Gustav Klimt earlier this year. It is a very old symbol, and it is seen all over the world. In this project, we're going to make our own tree of life. First thing we're going to do is we're going to trace a circle. I'm going to use this old ice cream bucket I store my beads in. Trace as big a circle as your paper can take. You could use a plate. Um, in class, I will probably have the circle printed out for you already, and we'll just use that. But the first thing we need is a circle. The first thing I'm going to do is make a line. Um, I'm going to use a ruler. There's no reason you have to. I am using a black oil pastel, but you could use whatever you'd like. You could use black crayons, you could use brown crayons, um, whatever you like to make the ground. Sharpies would also work. Now, I am going to use the Y method when I make my tree. It starts by just making a giant letter Y. Make it thick at the trunk. And now I'm going to turn each end of my Y into another letter Y. And then I'm going to turn each end of those littler Y's into an even littler Y. And then each letter Y again, the ends of those are going to make another letter Y and another letter Y. And I'm just going to keep making letter Y's. This is the Y method of making a tree. If you'd like to put leaves or something in them too, I'm fine with that. But a lot of times the trees of life were just shown with no leaves on it. Maybe kind of like a winter tree. But to make my branches in my tree, I'm just going to start with a big letter Y and then turn the ends of those Y's into Y's and Y's and Y's. And that's just a lot of times to say Y. Why? I don't know. Make your Y trees, your branches, go all the way to the edge of the circle. Once you're done with the top of your tree, you're going to do the roots. The roots are the stuff that connects us to the earth. And our trees of life are also going to have roots. You can use the Y method here too if you would like. But we're going to cover the whole bottom and the roots should go all the way to the edge of the circle. And we're going to finish the roots for our trees of life. After that, let's give them some color. Since I used oil pastels, I can use watercolors over it. And watercolors is an option. You can also do this with Sharpie or permanent marker, or you can do this with um, crayon. I used oil pastel. If you're working from home, maybe this is a good option. The option I think we're going to do at school is the tissue paper option. If you have tissue papers at home, you could do that too, but they have to be the kind that bleed, the kind that colors come out of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put many different colored tissue papers over my tree of life, and I'm going to paint them with water. It's good to spread them out, mix up the colors. The colors will kind of flow into each other and mix on their own. And it, you've got to make sure that you are using enough water so that the dyes of the tissue paper come out and color our trees of life. Cover the entire circle and make sure you use enough water. Resist the temptation to take the tissue paper off until it's all the way dry. 
After that, we're going to take our papers and put them in the drying rack and let them dry. This usually takes about three hours, but I usually leave it overnight. Make sure your name's on it. Once the tissue paper is dry, we're going to take it off. It should come right off, and we can see the colors that we get. If you have a little bit of white spots, that's fine. It still looks nice, but if you want to, you could use some watercolors and touch it up. Now that it's dry and I've got my colors down, I'm going to cut out my circle, being careful to cut it right on the line. And here's our tree of life. Now I'm going to use some glue or a glue stick, and I'm going to glue it to a background. I will have some squares cut if you are in class, but any kind of background will work. If you don't have one, the circle looks really nice too. Try to center it as best you can. And there you go. Um, I really hope you like making these. Um, if you are in class, I may have you write some stuff around the outside, depending on what you're talking about in your other classes, but I may not. So enjoy making your trees of life.